Ahoy mates! Welcome to the brand new Royal Caribbean Cruise Terminal here at the port of Galveston, Texas. This is an all new facility. We are here on the very first day of operation. We're getting ready to board Allure of the Seas for a special four night trade event sailing. So if you're interested in content for that, be sure to check out our Allure of the Seas playlist. But for today's video, I wanna take you around, try to give you a full tour of this brand new terminal facility. We are some of the very first people to be going through it and wanna show you what it's all about. So let's go ahead and get it started. Our tour of the brand new Royal Caribbean Cruise Terminal here in Galveston, Texas begins right now. So starting out outside here, wanted to point out that they do have the parking lots across there. There's not actually a parking garage situated right here at the terminal that I can see. It's just the lots here and then oh, there's like across the roadway, there's another lot as well. And then we'll turn and we'll find the actual main terminal building. You can see the crown and anchor up there on the top and then all these colorful little bus stops areas right here that they have lined up with these different numbers. So there's numbers there, there's numbers across over there and then over to the right there are additional little stops and numbers as well. Let's take a look around here really quick. And you can see in the distance there, Allure of the Seas, the first mega ship to sail from Galveston, Texas. That's the whole reason this terminal was built, is to accommodate ships of this size, the Oasis class ships. So Allure now here, Harmony of the Seas coming next year. Lots of fun in the future. So I did want to point out they have these additional bus stops over here, but this long blue wall is actually the disembarkation area. So we were told once you disembark from your cruise, this is the side that you will come out on. They typically will have buses and drop-offs over on this side but they had it closed off today because they were doing like an opening ceremony and it was actually done back over here so either way you get dropped off whether it's via your car or you're parking your car or a bus with the included transfers whatever it might be or excuse me paid transfers not included paid transfers whatever it might be will get you dropped off right here at the terminal and then you'll see this little white part on the side has the luggage drop off symbol so this is where you can come drop off your luggage with your tags if you don't have tags don't worry they can write them for you right there and then the porters will take those up to your stateroom although well, get them on the ship and then the uh, attendants on board will get them up to your stateroom and with that i think we're ready to head inside and take a look at the interior Oh, but really quick before we head inside, I did want to point out that there's actually a luggage drop-off over on the other side as well. So either side of the uh, Royal Caribbean crown and anchor there, the main blue building entrance area, there are luggage drop-off stations. Now a quick note as I make my way inside is that we are actually going to be going through the full process of boarding the ship here, boarding a cruise. So that includes going through security, which I will not be able to film. We cannot film security, but I'll try to show you everything else. Let's head in. And as we step in, wow, look at this. Got the crown and anchor on the side, giant video board showing you all the fun that's to come. These giant propellers that are suspended from the ceiling there. This is a very, very tall area. So you do have elevators straight across when you come in. It can take you for the check-in or security. Suites and pinnacle boarding area over here as well. So if you need the elevators, you can use those there. On either side though, there are also stairs and escalators that head up to the check-in area. You can see it on either side here. I will point out before we head up though that it does say Suites and Pinnacles member on the right side as you come in, the right stairs and escalators as well as the right elevators. I do not see those words over on the left side. So if you're staying in a suite or you're a Pinnacle level member of the Crown and Anchor Society, you will want to head to the right when you come in. And as we arrive to the top of the stairs, escalators, and elevators, we find this large landing area. They have signs up for mobile check-in. Of course, we always uh, recommend you doing that. And we're doing the mobile app check-in is the preferred method. You can also do it online though. And now you'll head through one of the lines here. Make sure they're gonna scan your uh, set sail pass and then uh, make sure you have your passports and all your documents. You'll go through right here and they are gonna send us on through security. So I have to stop filming at that point. We're not going to be able to show that, but once we get through on that side, we'll pick it back up. And they do have the desks over here on the right if you do not have your set sail pass. If you still need to go through the full check-in process, otherwise you're good to proceed over this way. All right, and we are through security now. So right when you get past the security area, you'll find all these different colored couches that you can come and sit and relax on if you need to wait for part of your party, or if for some reason you're not able to actually board the ship yet, they do have this very large 
seeing area, and they do have the display boards going similar to what they do on the ship itself. That's providing various information about starting your safety briefing or using the Royal Caribbean app, things like that. So again, just a big, big seating area. They do have floor to ceiling windows, letting in a lot of natural light here. And uh, they actually just had some live music playing right over there. I don't know if that'll be a permanent fixture, if that's special for our trade sailing, but all the same, they do have that over there. If you're hungry or thirsty, you can also purchase some things over at the vending machines. And here at about the midway point of the seating area, over on the right, as you head towards the ship, there are an area, there's an area with restrooms, and there are a couple of water fountains over there as well. As you proceed forward, you'll see the sign says all aboard right there, plus the big windows. So you're gonna be heading right through there if you're actually ready to board the ship. I'm actually giving out some hats right now. That's funny. I don't think that's a permanent thing. I think that's special for our trade sailing. But they do have the uh, photo opportunity, the tried and true, in front of the ship there. So right now with the lure of the seas is the backdrop. You can see it there. Get the professional photo taken. And then they also have another photo op here with this metallic animal band, which is super cool. And the, the uh, bass drum on the floor there says the Galveston Beach Trio, it looks like. You know what it says? Yeah. So you got like the, uh, the bird there. Is that a pelican, sea turtle, and a crab? jamming out i love it and then yeah you just get in line over here they're gonna check to make sure that you still have your, your set sail pass everything's good to go final check right there and once you're good you're gonna head through proceed down the walkway and get on the gangway to board the ship so once you're scanned in head through the all aboard sign through the doors you get the floor to ceiling windows here and proceed down the walk and as we come down the walk, we will find another set of photo opportunities here with the different backdrops that you can get your picture taken in with the ship there. The professional photographers ready to do that and they even have some fun pictures up on the wall here showing you the different areas you might be going to, the different experiences you might take part in. And you just keep heading forward whenever you're ready. One last welcome aboard sign, we turn and head up the gangway. So that's it for the terminal. And here's a look at some really cool environmental features of the new terminal. The first zero energy cruise terminal in Texas on track to achieve the lead gold in 2023. They do have electric vehicle charging stations available and it is 100% solar powered. How about that? That is so cool. Well, there you have it, friends. That is our tour of the brand new terminal here in Galveston, Texas for Royal Caribbean to welcome Allure of the Seas and next year, Harmony of the Seas. So those new mega ships are coming to Texas. Finally, it is time. We love the new facility, love sailing from here. We think you might as well. So if you're interested in that, feel free to reach out via the travel agent information. You can find it in the description of this video. Our website is hoffmanhappytravels.com. You can reach out to us there as well. If you've recently booked your Royal Caribbean cruise within the past 30 days and you're not paid in full, you can transfer it to our agency completely free of charge. We'll be able to assist you the rest of the way. So we hope we'll hear from you soon either way. Once again, I want to thank you for joining us for today's video. But we're signing off. We'll see you next time. Happy travels.